Spuddles, both getting top 8 of right last week. Or oh, like a week and a bit ago. Yeah, yeah. Um, Definitely two yeah, of the uh, players. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's cool. Wait, do this first. Do this first, because they need to. Yeah. Okay, so we're starting off. Um, Morgan or L Big Z is actually playing. Uh, he's actually wait, playing. Oh, game over. Oh, okay. He's he's actually playing the uh, Terry. Obviously, Terry's a new character that's just come out. Um, I mean, at the moment, Morgan's been turning up with Terry. He got at Chesterfield Weekly last night. He beat. Lots of Sheffield's plays that I hit today. Yeah, he beat he, he beat Black to Grams. Um, I mean, he went to game five. General Scales playing Terry. Yeah. Um, I mean, as we all know, General Scales is a really good player, and his Bowser's has really been coming into its own recently. Like, he's yeah, he's yeah. really come a long way, and he's getting consistent results. Like, he was consistent earlier, but his consistency's just gone up again. Yeah. Like another gear to like a little bit higher, more like more top players. But I mean, at this point, Ness back throw is going to kill this Terry. So. <laughs> Oh, that was a nice confirm though. Oh my god. I mean, the thing with the Terry Ness matchup is, he wants to be at 100 for the go source, but when he's at 100, he dies to back throw, so... <laughs> but yeah, so far, um, Morgan taking a, a lead, but it's 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 not out of the out of the way for spam. I mean, he's Morgan's definitely a death percent. I mean, that back end nearly yeah, killed across yeah. the stage. That's a chunky move. I'm surprised the Smash Brothers didn't kill, but Ooh, Terry is, he's though. a chunky guy. Terry yeah, Terry's pretty very, thick. Very he's got heavy. Some, some legs like tree trunks, arms bigger than my head. Yeah. I wouldn't want to meet him in a dark alley, but who would? I mean, I mean, I'm sure lots of the Smash fan fiction community would love to meet Terry in a dark alley. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> okay, Red. <laughs> um, keep in mind, it's the start of the night. There's not been any drinks yet. Yeah, um. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of worrying that I'm saying this stuff before I'm drunk rather than but a little bit later. Nice confirm from like like there. Uh, Morgan Sorry is actually scary, man. Like, no, I agree. He, he knows the confirms that he needs to know. Even like, I, I don't know if you saw the gimmick video about like, the charging up B stuff, but I mean, he was doing that yesterday before the video came out. Yeah. Um, he knows the confirms, like, just the basic stuff that he needs to know. He does not find any, like, crazy combos. And every now and but again. When he hits you, he's still getting, like, 30%. Yeah, exactly. And, like, every now and again, one thing that Morgan does really well, which lots of Terry's don't do, because Terry's, like, especially on a least smash, like, everyone's playing Terry. He's a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. That was a really nice kill by Morgan as well. Yeah, but, same um, as last time. Yeah, as we all know, that was, oh, really that was sick. sick by Spam. Yo, he's got look, a cheeky grin on his face. Yeah, though, he's see right now, but He knows that was nice. But yeah, so we've got um, lots of Terry's in the least smash. They just want to use those normals. They confirm into a lot of damage at any percent. They confirm into yeah. kills. Oh, One that thing was Morgan so does really well, I think, is like side B's from a distance and things like that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, goes for just, the, uh, just go for the jab there. Yeah, he either missed a confirm. Yeah, or just I, I'm, I'm sure that he would have missed that there. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Spam's really turned fire. it around this last yeah, stop. Yeah, he has. But um, the thing is, it was like this... Whoa, that was so close. I mean, what did I say? What did That's I say about back throw? <laughs> Terry wants the ghost source, but then he just dies to back throw, so... Oh, uh, I'll be the wrong way. That yeah. is on, like... Yeah, the I mean, the thing is... Um, Power Guys also has this, like, big blind spot in front of him. Well, not <laughs> big, but there's definitely a blind spot there yeah. as well. It's, that's funny, man. And if you shield, it does no shield damage or shield stun, so it is really risky on shield. Um, if you get hit by that, you're, you're just going to punish them. Yeah, like, yeah. The thing is, it's not just you can punish them. You can't see through Power Geyser, so you can't even see what punish they're going for to react to it. If, if he went for F smash, if he went for down smash, he could have gone for anything and you wouldn't have known. But the thing about that matchup is, um, I mean, we wouldn't... like. Obviously, Spam had the percentage lead, but Terry can kill Ness at that percent. We saw it stock one. Yeah, we saw yeah it he, stock two. he definitely can. Yeah. Th those confirms, and one thing I have noticed... But so much, I so wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, carry on. So yeah, well, some of the confirms Morgan was doing, sometimes he doesn't do the command input probably just to be safe, like, because you know if you just do the, yeah, the yeah. B input. And I'm not sure if that's because he doesn't feel confident in it yet, or if he just would rather go for the special yeah, input. Yeah. I mean, we got the DDD out now. Yeah, DG, his DDD is sick. Bodies me on stream almost every week at this point. I I went from never playing him to playing him like three weeks in a row. <laughs> oh, okay. Like, um, I, I literally never played Morgan until about three weeks ago, which is crazy, because we're both like been to at least yeah, 10 yeah, or 15 yeah. melting points. 
This is, I mean... Oh, he went for the F tilt there. I thought he'd go for up tilt. Big Z was literally saying beforehand, like, what do I do in this matchup? I mean, like, honestly, I know, man. Yeah. Like, like when I think about mess. it, what does DDD do in this matchup? Like, he just, has a, he just does the standard stuff, but it's a bit of a pain because... Oh, that has, was really good getting yeah. him with the tail there. Ness has these sort of, like, fast semi dis but it's all disjoints, they're not massive, mm -hmm. but like, it's just really annoying for DDD because yeah. like, uh, it's like, do you play him in the same way that you play the Yoshi matchup, or do you play yeah. him in like a swordy way, where you just need to be super wary of like, this, like the big yeah. old like, fast fares that come out? Yeah, because I think, um, offensively, DDD really struggles for small characters hitting them, because yeah, obviously yeah. they're small and quick. But the advantage he has in most of those matchups is his hammers and Gordo is actually really good at keeping yeah, them out. Yeah, they're but massive. with Ness, he has a disjoint, which is DDD's yeah. arguably biggest weakness. What did he see? The that's parry a, on that F smash. That's, that's a, just showing how stupid the hitboxes on that F smash yeah, are. Yeah, and like, also the the parry bubble, shit. which is like bigger than the actual shield, which is like. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. That's why um, I mean, Gimmer's parry shifting video. I'm not sure if you've seen it. That's a really yeah, good watch. Yeah. Um, it's not really something that I see even yeah, anyone think, implementing at this no, point. Nobody does that. Like maybe I, I, I think it's definitely useful. Though. If this game was around for like maybe play Wario. Yeah. But I mean, if you think about it though, like there's stuff in melee that every even like ten years on melee, the meta's still changing yeah, because yeah. they're still learning new stuff and like. Oh. I died to that last week. <laughs> Olivia, yeah. It is genuinely the saddest thing to die to in the world. But yeah, so like with melee, there's still new stuff coming out because the longer the game's out, the people, the better people get at optimizing the stuff that already exists. So you need to find those really minute, yeah. specific stuff was and optimize like, all of it. I think it was like ASDI or like V canceling, like there's stuff like that which was like discovered like, like 13 years after the game came out, yeah, and then yeah, people yeah. only started doing it like another few years after that. Yeah, exactly. And it's like with parry shifting with Gimmer, it's quite a specific tech that like. Dude, it's, it's definitely frame dependent and like move dependent yeah. that it has an impact on. And like, he gave one example of it, but as he said, like, we'll, we all know, Gimma researches things like he's gonna find a specific stop. Yeah, well, sometimes, sometimes I don't know, man. Sometimes I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah. Okay, man, here we go. Really running away here with we this, go. Like, no, 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 but the I last mean, he bit. He could die at any percent. Oh, like, oh, that, that could have been it there. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. I feel like very badly on Pixie. He's. He wants his kill now, because he knows yeah. that, like, Ness he's getting to that percent where, like, Ness is going to get another, like, 30% combo, and then it's going to be really scary. At but this he's, point, he's definitely looking for it. Oh, oh well, there we go. The, the slight SD. Yeah, I mean, I was going to say, all it takes is one PK fire, and DDD is going to eat another at least two PK fires. Yeah. So, he, he's definitely the sort of character that can that can really hurt him at this point. He's going to get hit. Oh! No, just oh! doing it. Suck, DDD, suck. But yeah. this could be it. I, 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 I think Morgan's going to struggle getting back off the ledge at this point. It really looks tough in this matchup, in all honesty. Yeah. PK Fire beating Gordo, I think, is actually huge. Like, if Gordo bounces through PK Fire, this matchup, I think, will be yeah, quite a bit different. Yeah. Like, from. Like, it, it would be a lot more DDD running away, DDD using Gordo, but he has yeah, to approach. I, I feel like Spam is able just to throw it out. Like, if it didn't, then he still has the fair and the nair to hit Gordo's mm. away. But especially if you haven't played the DDD matchup, just be able to like throw out Gord, like your PK fire and not worry about Gordo as much. Yeah, I mean, yeah, look, look at, at him. That, like, like, yeah, he's just reacting. That wasn't like it's just like straight up reaction. Yeah. Even though PK fire is a slow move. But I mean, look, Spam is out at 75 now, and, and against DDD, you'll back. be you'll be sweating. Yeah, no, honestly, you'll be this, sweating. This is and uh, now he's off the ledge. This could be it because DDD's ledge trap. Oh, oh he's he, wasted why is he just it. avoiding his ledge trapping? Like. That is, oh, 100% DDD's best, best asset, like no doubt. Oh, just How about has he got through that so many times? I think Spam oh spaced that like, Nah, the DI, DI that was that quality was, DI, yeah, I'm because surprised. With, with how much time he had to react to that, that is definitely the sort of yeah. move where you don't DI. No, the, um, that was a good mix-up for Morgan though. first hit apparently, it got debunked. You know when there's a red box, you can't change your DI. Yeah, apparently. yeah, I know, I know, that's what I'm saying, like he did not have time oh, to react okay. to that. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Like I'm saying like that's the exact sort of move where you could be fully excused for DIing wrong to that. Yeah, because it, especially because like it was just the last hit of it, mm. so like he might have thought that he got away with not getting yeah, hit no, by it. Yeah, no, like I thought he got away with not getting hit by it. Coolio. But I mean, th I, that was um, a good mix-up by Morgan what because was that? every time he's um, what was that? sort of Gordo at ledge, he he grabbed the, the ledge again, 
And this time he went, went towards the ledge, faded away and back air, and he, it got the game. So it was a really good job there from Morgan. Uh, let's see how they're going to do it this time. Saying the same matchup, DDD versus Ness. I think Morgan was definitely figuring some stuff out by the end there. But at the same time, heavies at high percent just get damage back. They just rack it up. And that's just something you've got to be used to. Okay, Spam's making a strong start here, but this is how we've seen it every other stock of the last game too. Ness goes in on heavies. He's got long-lasting hitboxes. They do a lot of damage, and he's got confirms off most of them, so... Oh, if he had got the sweet spot of that back air, that could have been really dangerous there for, for very badly. Oh, really nice tech there from Spam. He's, he's avoided that forward air combo. That's one of those combos that's really difficult to avoid from DDD. And it just makes you angry that he has something off him. Off grab like that, I suppose. Alright, I'm back to comms now. Um. I mean, it, it seems upsetting for DDD that, um, that Gordo gets deflected by PK Thunder, but at the same time, a big character like DDD doesn't want... PK Thunder chasing you off stage like that, so even though Gordo yeah. loses to it, you've got rid of that PK Thunder. So at the yeah, same yeah. time, I, I do think it actually but works also, in this like, matchup. Yeah. If you can use fair in that instance, I feel like that's a probably yeah, I mean that that Gordo is a sucks. way to get rid of PK yeah. Thunder. But, but sucks such a laggy option, like if he keeps like if he because he has yeah, to do it early, the start up of it, there's gonna be one point where he does it and Ness can just go off stage and spike him or something. No, but then at that point, like when you're in PK Thunder, you're locked into it. So no, like, you are, but I'm saying and he, like there's an end lag of PK Thunder as well. <laughs> so like, it definitely, that was a really Ness good definitely has like priority, and he'll have like frame advantage. But as long as he does it far enough away from stage, like the last one that he did that, that was a, a good option, I reckon. No, I agree. I just, I'm just saying like every yeah. time, it's not necessarily good. Hello, draw. That was a poor dash tag from Spam there, I think, actually, at the ledge. This could be it. Oh, that was a really poor roll there from Spam. I'm quite yeah. surprised, but, but at you the can same be time, no, honestly, towards you. it takes a long time to get used to what did you do ledge trapping is, honestly. and even then, it's still amazing ledge trapping. Yeah, and like it, it covers so many options with so few options that you're gonna get hit by stuff. Like even if you know yeah. what you're doing, because all it takes is them to read your option that beat. There's only a few options that beat his options. He doesn't even like need to read, that's the thing. Because he, he just covers so many options. But <laughs> sometimes it's literally just like, you have to wait this really specific amount of time to get out of it. Yeah. Or you have to do this one, like, drop down ledge attack to actually get out of it. Yeah. That was a nice forward throw there from Spam, just getting the stage advantage. Ooh, oh, that, that was, was really good. That, that was, was really, really clean. Yeah. This game is definitely. A lot I mean, it's an early Morgan. game. It's going a lot more stable. Yeah. For Big Z. I think Morgan's using um, neutral B a lot more this time, like the suck with DDD, because it seems pretty good yeah. in this matchup. Ness wants to run in, and he just gets sucked in. Um, he wants to use PK fire, gets sucked in. And I mean, it doesn't. Oh, that was really nice by Spam really there. Nice. He just stood in front of him, shielded, waiting for the aggressive well, option to come out. Well, he rolled well, forward, he rolled, which makes yeah. it a bit upsetting, but it's yeah. fine. <laughs> It's fine. I'm I'm a I'm a big advocate of rolling too much, like a aggressively, which isn't a good option. But I mean, it is as a mix up. It's definitely a good yeah, option. The way that's bounded, yeah. that was like it works out really well. That was a that's, and also that people don't like expect 39 it. Thirty nine percent just from one dare. Yeah, that nice chunky back air though. Did yeah. he back That's some really solid good. ass wood in this hammer. I'm going it to really tell you is. I like the wait there from spam to do the PK fire, waiting until near the end of the move. It's, it's really hard to approach DDD when he's jumping a ledge like that because when someone's a ledge, you want to just approach them, you want to keep them in ledge, pressure them. But he can just do back air and be reverse neutral B as he's doing yeah, now, it's, and it's it can honestly be difficult to approach. That, I mean, that is the that right back option. air is like so difficult to deal with. Yeah. Where you need to actually run under him so and get. High. You literally need to like run Ooh, under him. Oh, that spike was really nice. Oh. Oh. He's calling Let's out that, that neutral B yeah, ledge a lot he's more now with the down air. Air. I, I feel like, even though Big Z, these back airs are good, I think it's a sign of him being a little bit flustered. Yeah. He's eating that this one up. This like, at, the, at this point, you. he's going to die to a lot of stuff anyway, so what's the point? Oh, here? he tried going over the go. ledge like he did to me. <laughs> um, I think that was like a, that was a, a, that was a good really close set. Though, yeah. yeah. I really, I, that was a good set. I mean, you saw clear adaptation from both players yeah. too, I think. We got lovely, beautiful Jinj stood there on.